Welcome to the official catch up. Today I've got Kevin Marshall. How are you doing, Kev? Morning, gents. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Did, did you enjoy your birthday? Was that a bit of a weird one? I did, I. Uh, it was a bit of a weird one. I had a, a, a virtual birthday party with <laughs> just everybody on the uh, on the old group chat. That was about it. No, it's good to it's good to speak to you again, mate. It's been ages. It's obviously another Saturday with football, kind of missing it a wee bit. I uh, know. You're looking at the sky, today. It's a beautiful day. It's a perfect day for football, and, and we're all stuck in the house. Right. <laughs> and uh, today we're joined by Sean Leishman of Hello Beef Offer. How are you doing, Sean? How are you doing, Chris? Nice to speak to you. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Aye, good. Get in there, mate. It's obviously, as I mentioned, eh, it's a bit weird being in, indoors on a Saturday. I'd be getting ready to go to the football at this point in time, but it is what it is, mate. Eh? Uh, it's tough, aye. I'm sure we'll be back sooner rather than later. But, uh, I hope so. How, how are you all coping, anyway? How are you, how are you coping, Sean, with all this? Um, no bad, actually. Um, I'm just trying to find different substitutes, obviously. None compares to winning a 50-50, but... Um, I just try and, you know, I've been, I didn't, I done quite a lot of running last week, and then this week I've done a bit of CrossFit. I've done a wee. I've seen like lots of challenges, so I'm just trying to keep up to date with them, and and that's kind of starting in the weeks. I'm working from home, which is which is quite decent as well. So I'm in some sort of routine at least um, from early morning till you know quarter to four or something, and then I just kind of do a workout after that, and then. So I try and keep in some sort of routine, but nah, it's difficult. But you know, there's there's much worse situations or people and work situations. I'm, I'm quite lucky that I could I could work from home and stuff. So brilliant, Sean. Brilliant, mate. And what about yourself, Kev? I uh, I'm kind of the same. I'm working from home as well just now. I've got a a wee office set up in the spare room. Uh, I've got headphones on permanently. I think I'm between uh, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and uh, WhatsApp. I'm, I'm on a call virtually all day, every day. Um, but I, I'm kind of the same. Uh, and so I've got a lot of mates who are self-employed and stuff like that. And they're texting me, I'm sitting playing Xbox or playing the guitar or whatever. And I'm sitting and I'm working. I'm still working as much as I ever did. <laughs> Brilliant. And obviously, uh, well, we're kind of all involved uh, with five teams, obviously. Um, and uh, about yourself, Sean, obviously, you've, yeah. you've been... Uh, Sort of around Fife, as it was, we most of your career, obviously, Burn Island, Logelli Albert, Kirkcaldy YM, Hello Beef. Blast for the past, aye. Um, actually, I, I left um, underage quite early. Um, I never kind of finished the 19s era. Uh, I, I jumped ship because a few of my mates were playing amateur and I just I got the urge. And then I got picked up by Logelli um, after a year or so. Um, had quite a good season there, actually. Uh, actually, I never even finished the season, but I, I went to Kirkcaldy YM, and it was it was kind of when the, the, the Galacticos were there, like Sean Gregg and Marco Pelosi and um, Sean O'Neill. Um, so, but I actually got relegated. Um, I signed with like four games to go, and um, we got relegated, and I was only one in a long term contract, so it was absolutely brutal. So, <laughs> I managed to get out. At, um, I went back amateur for a while. And then I got picked up by uh, the famous Jock Finlayson. Um, and um, I, that was about six years ago, maybe, uh, 2014, I think. So ever since then. But I love I love Hello Beef. It's, um, you know, you spoke to Joe, who's, I'm just going to say the scene, he's nothing like me. I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm an absolute character. Uh, I've got my strengths lie elsewhere. Um, no track ball like, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, so I, uh, it's been it's been good. It's been a good six years experience. Um, we were in a bit of a relegation battle one year. And I've experienced getting a bit silverware with East of Scotland when it was still the junior setup, which was I think one of my first years, which was was brilliant. Uh, actually, it was really good. It was a great great bunch of lads, and then and then to experience that again where there's been a lot of young. John touched on it as a lot of young guys came in. So I'm kind of one of the more experienced, if you like. Um, Faces around the dressing room now, so it's it's good to have that balance. As you spoke about the, the camaraderie and stuff is is has been brilliant for the last last two years. It's it's been really good. Yeah, Joe Joe was saying else. Uh, I know Mitch. Uh, the first thing he done I, after listening to it was he sent me a message saying, "I think we got the wrong player on." Like, <laughs> but Joe. <laughs> Oh. Joe was Joe was brand new. He caught me. He caught me off guard towards the end of that. Like I, I mean, I never <laughs> I felt for. 
Ah, you need to watch. You always need to be on your toes when when Joe's about like definitely. <laughs> Learn that lesson hard, like. In terms of yourself, Kev, obviously you've you've been uh, sort of around Hilla Beef County. Uh, you know, um, have you seen the sort of natural progression of the hawes as well in terms of what you've seen over the last few years? Aye, well, I mean, I, I've um, I, I, although I go to Kelty regularly now, I actually started going to the hawes long before that. Uh, just because I had, I had some pals and some ex workmates and stuff like that, uh, played played for the Hawes way back in their kind of their glory era, if you like. Uh, so I, I I've seen the, probably the ups and downs, and uh, I think I think Sean probably touched on it there that the, they seem to be back on a bit of an upward trend just now. They have had uh, a couple of difficult seasons, but I definitely think they're they're riding the crest of a wave at the minute. Would you agree with that, Sean? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, as I was saying, I, I've I've kind of experienced um, both parts of it. I was um, when Bobby Wilson was was the manager. We were um, we were in a bit of a, 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 a bit of relegation battle um, at one at one stage. We managed to get ourselves out, of it, which was which was credit. I think we beat Linlithgow. It was a big one at home one one year, and and we managed to get out. Of it. And then you know Kevin following. Florian came in and we had a, a couple of great seasons. Um, one, one in the junior and one in the East of Scotland, where we, you know, we just missed it on on the, on the title um, last day of the season. It was quite tough actually. Um, I think overall we probably des- ah, we probably deserved a bit better. We, we actually beat Pennycook twice, I think, uh, and then and drew once or something like that. So it was quite tough to take. We lost it on the last season uh, or last day of the season. Last yeah. year, and then it's kind of evolved and um, um, or carried on, if you like, into, into this year. I know. Um, I think some correct in saying we're, we're right in a, a, a title challenge. We were anyway. Um, you know, we were, we had full belief that we could. Um, we had enough in in the dressing room to you know go in and try and try and win that league challenge at least. Um, we obviously got beat by Bonnets twice, but you know we picked up a, a lot of good results. We played a lot of good teams. Um, you know, we made Hill at Beef a really, really tough place to come to. Um, you know, we've got a, a solid solid defence and um, good midfield and we're really, really clinical going forward. So, um, I have a great balance and I definitely think, um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to, but I definitely think we would have challenged. Yeah, yeah, and I think that that's a sentiment even, you know, around, I think, 10 points separated you and Bonnes, but he's had three games in hand. And yeah. I think from what I remember, he's were on like really decent form as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, you know, you, you always want to play your games. Bonessa are in a great position. No, nobody's going to deny that. But, um, you, you know, the drop points against Dunbar, I think one of the last games. And, um, you know, as I was saying, we were, we were really looking forward to the, to the back end of the season to try and pick up as much points as possible. We're going into a really challenging point of the season, um, playing a lot of games. Been the cup games, we're touching the top cup games. You know, we had we were in, um, I think, a quarter final uh, and a semi final. Quarter final was against Camelon, and I think John was saying that um, a great uh, prospect to try to play Kelly, which yeah, yeah, <laughs> they've been tasty, yeah, definitely. I think, I think we were all looking forward to that as well, Kev. Aye. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if I was, I would have been there because <laughs> I've got a wee bit of effort in both camps, so it would have been difficult one, yeah. Me, I think, um. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of maybe dodged a bullet a wee bit there. <laughs> yeah, and uh, are you looking forward to like obviously you've got previous and and uh, sort of Fife football where you, I think uh, as it stands like a lot Gelly Albert and that are going to be coming into the East of Scotland. Yeah. Is that something you're sort of looking forward to if you get the chance to play them again? Oh, absolutely. You miss all going to those kind of little grounds and they make it they make it tense and they make it hard to to get. Uh, to break down and stuff, so you'll miss all that. Like your size, I think, it's coming in. Logelli, Lahore, all, and it's it brings back a bit of a um, you know derbies and you know maybe bring back some of the crowds and uh, and stuff like that. So I definitely I'm really looking forward to that. If it, if it does happen, maybe perhaps in a cup or something like that. Yeah, yeah, because I, I I touched on it with Mitch as well, but like that's one of the things I've missed over the years, where you know with Hella Beef and Kelty and. Kev, um, I wonder if these sort of teams co- are coming in, are you going to sort of extend where you're going to be next season? Are you going to get to Loch Gelly and, and whatnot? Aye, well, um, I've, I, I, I kind of think I'll probably be spending a bit more time watching East of Scotland games next season, been having a, a few discussions and, and things like that. So I, I think I probably will uh, certainly 
get around uh, a lot more of the grounds uh, when when the games eventually start back up, back up again. So I, it'd be good to see a few for, uh, a few more five teams in uh, in that league. Uh, not quite so far for me to travel, but uh, I also think I'll, I'll probably end up doing a, a bit more travelling and, and going a wee bit further afield, which is a bit easier for me now on a Saturday than it, than it used to be. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, and obviously. I'm not sure if you meant obviously west of Scotland, but that's that's obviously coming in. I, I'm not 100 percent sure yet if there's going to be a sort of you know a, a sort of Scot, Scottish Junior Cup style East, uh, South of Challenge Cup uh, sort of cup if there if there is one. But are, are you looking forward to to playing these teams, Sean? Are you looking forward to a Paula Carrock and Lake? Hi, um, I mean obviously they're renowned for being really really tough. Side. Um, I managed to play often like once in a Scottish Cup tie between Harabees. What's in half like? But um, I, I don't <laughs> um, but I, it would be great. It would be great to go even away to the teams like Auchinleck like, and get a good away day in Pollock and um, you know whoever whoever decides to, to make the jump. But I think I think it's definitely the way, the way forward. I think you know the whole football is different. Like juniors, or I don't. I think yeah, I don't think they're going to. You know, cope for, with us. I think it, the full East of Scotland, West of Scotland final will, will take over, and and hopefully they do make a, a Scottish Cup type type thing, John, because that brings back its own you know history and stuff as well, and um, makes it more attractive um, for, for fans and, and stuff like that. So definitely. Yeah, yeah, and and obviously the the talk. Well, we didn't have a decision yesterday on on league football, uh, one yeah. championship side. Uh, I don't even know if they voted now, eh? but it's well past the deadline. Um, football, like, I, oh, it is, mate. It totally is. I kind of could make it up. Eh? Yeah, like I don't know why they even had. I don't know why they even said it wasn't declared or anything. Eh? It's a bit. It's a bit daft. But in terms of like what should happen, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, first of all, Kev. I, I don't know. I, I've seen quite a lot, and I've, I've tried to avoid getting involved on social media because, again, the, the folks' opinions can, can tend to get a wee bit inflamed. But to me, it's almost like you've got two options. You either declare the season null and void, or you, you play it to a finish, one or the other. I think anything else in between, you're always going to have a question mark hanging over your integrity then. Yeah, yeah, and obviously, well, I think the majority of players and gaffers would, uh, especially in the likes of Hill Beef's position, Sean, they would probably yeah. want to, to play it out. Yeah, oh, from, a, from a personal point of view, um, as we touched on, I mean, we're writing the heart of a, hopefully a title challenge, so we, we're, we're keen on you know carrying out the season. I, I know it'll be difficult, and whatever decision they come to, there'll be people that you know have got a gripe, and that's understandable because there's people in different positions um, so obviously that brings different opinions, but you know, from a personal point of view and from our club, um, we want to carry out the season, and I think it'll be difficult, and I don't think we'll get to. But um, obviously, I think we'll, they're just going to take guidance from from UEFA. I think, yeah, I think whatever they, whatever they can do, they'll just filter that down to top, even the SPL to League One and 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 then to down to other level as well. So um, I think we're just probably relying on a a, re- a restructure. Eh? Potentially try and go up that way, which which is pretty rubbish actually, because we put we put a lot of work into in this season, especially like the cup, even the cup ties and stuff. Have prospect have been a, a really a right um, you know successful season, but I think regardless of who you support, so at whatever level, yeah. you know, they're I mean, different. Different, I suppose. If you're, I don't want to pick on anybody, especially, but if you're a Hearts fan, for example, you probably yeah. you're probably glad of it, but. I mean, if you if you're supporting a team that's that's either close to winning the league or at least challenging for for winning a bit of silverware, it is a complete anti climax for you. I mean, we we all we we go to these games because we we want to see big games. We want to see teams winning lifting trophies and silverware and things like that. So I think uh, if if we didn't get to to see the season played out, whenever that is, I think it's going to be a bit of an anti climax for everybody. Yeah, I agree, Defo. Yeah, and what was the experience like playing in the the Scottish Cup proper this season? I mean, I, I touched on it with Mitch, obviously, but like I never ever back in the day imagined that like Sakelty or Hella Beef or these sort of teams would ever would ever be in the Scottish Cup. Eh? So I know it's quite a quite a thought, eh? and I mean, obviously a lot of credit goes to um, you know like 
uh, the side, sorry, the David Bailey, Scott Forrest, all the likes of putting on, I think there's a lot of procedures and stuff that they had to, to get through to get a licence. And, you know, when the news came through that we were going to be in it this year, it was just unbelievable. I mean, it's like some of the people up, like, imagine playing the Scottish Cup. It's, it was a great, great thing, great experience. Obviously, we, we got, had to get through the two preliminary rounds. We had quite favourable ties, so um, we managed to get through them. And then we let ourselves down a bit at, at Gretna. Um, I think, obviously, that probably means got ahead of ourselves, they were bottom of the, the Lowland League and, you know, we were doing quite well again in, in the East of um, Scotland, so a lot of stuff in Craig style, but yeah. um, all the same, it was a, it was a great event and I'm really, really looking forward to trying to carry that out into the next season again if we, if we can. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and obviously, like, I think it's becoming less and less of a shock, uh, especially for the likes of us, Kev, that have a wee bit of knowledge of non-league football, but, um, you know, BSC getting as far as they, they did and, and, and whatnot, I think it's becoming less of a shock that the East of Scotland and Lowland League teams are, are getting as far as they have done in the Scottish Cup. Aye, absolutely. I mean, I had uh, quite a few mates at work who they were all talking about BSC when they when they had that game against Hibs and they were all saying how, how well they had played and things like that. And you're right, it probably doesn't come as, as too much a shock to us that, that are watching teams like that uh, most weeks or we were in here until recently. So uh, I, uh, I, think, um, I think it's great to see even just getting that chance to be involved in they kind of games. And I, I, I mean, I used to love going to the, the Scottish Junior Cup games. They were always some of the best games of the season. Um, but we need even the the Kelly Oak and Lett game this year. Although the, the outcome was not great for us, to me that was that was a fantastic night. Uh, seeing the crowd there and the BBC cameras and things like that. So yeah, it's it's great. That that's the kind of games that, that you, you look forward to, whatever level you're at. I think yeah. Yeah, agreed, mate. And obviously, uh, Solihull as well in the in the Tunics uh, Caramel Wafer Cup as well. That was that was some experience. Uh, a bit of a daft name, but uh, again, it was uh, it was a nice speed cup run as well. Eh? Yeah, yeah. You know, is that the aim of Hill of Beef to, to get up to the Lone League? Oh, 100 percent. I mean, you know, you always look at your targets at the start of the season, and um, you know, we looked at that league and seen it was going. To be, it's a really competitive league, if you look at even all the way down to Muscle Car. You know, when Lithgow are, uh, have a bit under underachieved this this year so far, but you know, it's really competitive. Anybody could beat anyone, but you know, our goal at the start of the season was to get promotion, whatever way that was, and obviously when the league it was just one one team up, but you know, we always had belief right at the start, right from the start that we had enough in the dressing room to get through to, to the Lowland League, and that's that's what we'll continue to do, even if that's ne- if this season or it's, it's next season, we'll have the same targets, definitely, that's that's what we we'll aim to do. Yeah, brilliant, Sean. And Kev, obviously, you know, uh, one of the reasons we've got you on is because obviously you know Hella Beef quite well, but... Is there any sort of players that we can look out for in the future? Any young guys, and you know, to yourself and, and Sean? I well, I say I, I've, I've probably mentioned two or three of the the Hill of Beef guys. I think I'd mentioned Joe, and well, well, we all know him now. I think that's him definitely put himself on the map. <laughs> uh, but I, I think, um, I think there are quite a, a few decent young guys coming through at the Hawes. Um, and Sean, I hope you'll agree. I mean, you mentioned them. Um, Jake Mitchell uh, uh, um, last week on uh, on the pod, but he's one of these players that you can and, and for the position he's in, he usually play, plays centre mid most of the time, and he, he can he looks like he's been there all his life. And I can he joked about kind of getting an early debut and stuff like that, and, and there maybe been other reasons for it. But you know, he, he does look like a centre mid that's that's been that's played, that has got hundred games under his belt. Eh? Yeah, oh, hundred percent agree. Um, you know, um, my first memory of Jake was um, Kevin following him, brought him in. I remember 16 years old, a bonus at home, and uh, chucked him in, sent him to 1 5 1 that day. And he was, he was outstanding. And, and, and he, as Kev said, he looked like he's played 200 games. And, and he could play senior, absolutely. And he's still only a young boy, 18, 19, I think. And um, he's, he's brilliant, brilliant in the air. You know, just this. Things really simple. I like him best at, at centre half. To be fair, he just commands and wins the ball in the air, and uh, aye, really effective. I mean, we've got other young players as uh, Kev saying. Lyle plays left back. You know, Kyle Adamson is on a bit now, but yeah, he, he had a wee touch at um, senior level with Berwick class last year. Didn't kind of work. Didn't work out. But 
Lewis Elder as well, he's one of my good mates, but um, he's injured now. He plays up front. Great player, great lad. Um, you know, worked really hard, great finisher. Um, but I, there's, there's a, lot, a lot of young talent and, you know, experiencing, as um, John said, the balance is, is perfect. You know, we've got a, a, really, a really good squad. There's another young guy, uh, Sean, yeah. uh, you'll probably know him, uh, and there is a wee bit of family connection, so I better declare an interest there. Uh-huh. Uh, Rory, Mar- Rory Marshall. Aye. He is a, a, fair, a fairly distant relative of mine. No, uh, but I think he's just signed that first team contract. Is that right? Eh? And well deserved as well, because you know I think our under twenties team, you know this especially this year they've they've really struggled. They had a lot of players have left, you know for whatever reason they've got to that age in their life where they maybe just found drink or whatever and they've just not continued. But Rory Marshall stuck by it, and you know he's, he was really loyal, um, and they deserved his call up to you know the first team and, and, and signed the contract a few weeks ago and. He played a few friendlies, and I've always, you know, looked out good, really, really strong, you know, fast and 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 good in the tackle and all that sort of stuff. So I, uh, he'll definitely be one, one for the future as well. Definitely, Kev. I agree. Uh, is there any truth that Jake Mitchell's played over three hundred <laughs> games? <laughs> You'd think so. He's got a hairline that would uh, suggest so, but um, uh, nah, he's 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 a good lad as well. But I. <laughs> I saw I saw a lot of the under twenties and a lot of these guys obviously made the step up and uh, yeah a bit different this this season I think with the, with the development league that I don't think the teams are quite what they were uh, for some of the clubs because they had only just started doing they had a lot of good youth talent and obviously a lot of them went up to the first team. I was just I was just going to ask Sean. I mean Hi. you know we we had some of the banter for Joe last week and we've had a wee bit of the day yeah. and I think that's kind of one of the big things about a dressing room, that, that kind of environment is the banter that, that goes on. How yeah. you, I mean, obviously you're missing playing football and as you, you mentioned, that getting, getting stuck into a 50-50, but yeah. how, do you, how do you deal with not having that, that daily interaction or, or that regular interaction with all your teammates? No, it's a, a great question because I'm going through a wee bit of a hard time personally and, and, you know, and that like, is a massive release and, you know, it's great to, you know, get out and, see your teammates on a three times a week and you know for someone to kind of take that away for you for you you need to try and find substitutes which has been really really difficult for me so I, like I've just been trying to keep active you know doing different things like running I've been doing a bit of running you know doing a bit of crossfit as I touched on um, but I it's, it's a great question Kev because you just you're so used to you know going in and just that natural banter and speaking to slagging him off, you know, um, and then on a Saturday, it's just that's what you prepare for every single weekend, and, and it's, it's it's tough, it's tough, but there's a lot of um, difficult things going on in the world, and you understand that, and you think, you know, but I, it's, it's, it's tough, but. <laughs> it's, it's something I've touched on with, with some of the guys, obviously, and the, the fact that. You know, football's now off till June. That's been announced. I think there'll be a lot of a lot of guys that are, you know, a wee bit lost at the moment. Yeah, you know, hundred percent. As I was saying, it's you know, I always find that regardless is is a release from from everything that's going on in day to day life. Um, you know, you you just go there and you know, nobody takes their thoughts for an hour on a or an hour and a half on a Tuesday and an hour and a half on a on a Thursday and you know two hours or whatever it is on a on a Saturday and and the scenes for for it to be taken away from you it's uh it's it's tough. It's tough but you just obviously need to try and go on it, find different things that you know keep you keep you motivated and keep you active and stuff like that. But, yeah, are you still, I take it the group chats are still going, are you oh. still keeping in touch and whatnot? <laughs> group chats, uh, I, I'm, just, I'm just sending in challenges, nobody's taking them up like, but there's a, they're, a, they're a lazy bunch to be fair, so, um, but aye, the banner's still flowing, we had a quiz night last night actually, it was great on Zoom, uh, so Joe Kirby was obviously last, he was absolutely terrible, um, <laughs> but, uh, I we had a wee, uh, a wee quiz night, we were going to introduce that every, every Friday and um, Mitch, previously to last night, we were just getting a question at 8 o'clock every night so I was currently first in the leaderboard until yesterday, I, I came I came sixth so um, one, of our, one of the committee guys, Rory Mutter, he, he went into first position so I'm chasing him 
Yeah, I, I, I was. I, I don't know if you guys got involved. Obviously, I was saying that you were doing that last night, but I, I took part in the Scottish football quiz that they put on, which was gr- brilliant. Like, but I, I think I let myself do it. I think I probably got about twelve out of fifty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a taking part, mate. That's all. <laughs> It was a it was a Scottish Cup round for some reason. Eh? There was some sort of crazy questions in there. Eh? Like you know, I, I, I'm sure that let me do like, but I think uh, the performance was not great. Like <laughs> street cred shot then, Chris. Oh no, eh, I, well we'll get one on the football eh, non league or something. Get we'll get that going and then we'll see how we um, get on with that. <laughs> well, what you're doing, Chris, is great. I mean, you're obviously uh, keeping interaction going throughout Lowland and East of Scotland League, which is brilliant. And I've been listening, listening to them, uh, obviously Joe and, and, and John, and I listened to a few other ones, which is it's been great. So um, it's def- that's definitely keeping going as well. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate the always appreciate the feedback from uh, especially the players and the gaffers and that. But it's great to have like yourself on, Sean, and hear your thoughts and. And hopefully, uh, I think well, it's a great opportunity to to be able to do this because everyone's at home. I think previously, obviously, we had to get boys at training, we had to sort of organise it with the clubs. But now it's kind of you know everyone's free and available, so it's great to give you guys a voice and the clubs a voice more than maybe uh, maybe <laughs> maybe uh, we 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 had in the past, basically. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. You probably um, everyone. It's a bit of a positive. A bit of, you can. You can all catch people um, at home with the likes of Zoom, all the technology that's going on nowadays. It's, it's really good. Well, it's been uh, excellent to catch up with you, Kev, and, and, and having you on, Sean. It's been great. Yeah. Um, obviously, if anything happens, uh, you, you're more than welcome any time. And obviously, Kev, we'll probably we'll, we'll catch up again also. So, uh, But yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, stay safe and, and all the best, guys. Uh, look after yourself, folks. <laughs>